So I'm gonna be using this drywall joint tape. And then also I'm gonna use this fiber tape. So it's like a wall repair fabric. You can do like spider cracks, different cracks, maybe some small holes and they give you directions here. So yeah, gonna make this happen. I think we're good. Good, good job. So I'm just adding scabs of wood all over. So there's some more to fix the drywall to. You know, come over here where the stove was. Now up, for example, that scab there runs all the way across. So there's something to fix it to. And then this scab here, for most of it, goes across. And then I'm taking the drywall that was already up there and screwing it up too because it kind of dropped a little bit. So it's not only just putting up new drywall, but it's um, adding strength and stability on the edges to the existing drywall. Now I'll add some in that corner there, and that's probably gonna be good enough. I'll probably add some scabbing here because there's gonna be no cabinets here. This is the last piece here I'm gonna put up. I forgot to turn it on when I did that corner. Hi, my name is Brad, and if you're new to our channel, so glad you are here. This is my sister Shelly's house, and in the second video of this kitchen renovation, I had removed the kitchen soffit, so that's why we're gonna be taping and mudding drywall today. Apparently I can't cut in video at the same time, so you get the point. I'm just kinda of cutting an outline, and then we'll cut the um, drywall with that. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, guys, but this is how I'm doing it, you know, and it's going to work just fine. Just to kind of give you the vibe, and then we'll just kind of swing back. So I'm just going to cut this with the scissors. And the cabinets will end about actually here, just part of this hole will show. So I think I'll let that dry and then I'll just do one or two more coats and uh, then sand it. We'll see if that'll work. I don't know. But again, not much of that's going to show, so I think it should be fine, but we will find out. So again, most of this will be covered, and this little one will show. Try to get it in through the web. So I know that's not the prettiest, but I don't care. I just want it to work. So it, it doesn't have to look cool going on. So we'll do one more layer and let that dry and then try sanding it and we'll see if it works. So I'm just kind of scraping in here just to kind of get anything loose off. So I'm going to use this drywall joint compound and I'm going to put some tape up and so this part's going to all show up here. This will be my guinea pig area. We'll see how this works. Let's see if I can get faster at this towards the end of uh, doing this. So this is my experiment wall so I'm going slow. Not enough of the joint compound under the tape down here. 
the cabinets are gonna go here, so I'm leaving it. So this is definitely a work in progress. You know, by the time I'm done with this, I'll probably get better at it. But for now, I'm full of the stuff and I'm making a mess. And if you are a professional drywaller or you just drywalled your house, you should do this better than I should. So if I can do this and I'm willing to get all messed up like this, you can do this too. All right, so I got some mudding done. Scrape the walls down in places. You can see more came off. Floor is filthy again, but you can see where I went up the trim here. And you can see where I did the ceiling. I just kind of feathered everything in there. And then I ran some tape up here where that's going to show. And this is all taped up here. So I got tape on the horizontal wall and on the ceiling on the vertical wall. Does that make sense? Ceiling and wall. <laughs> And then I filled in, I mudded in some of the holes and I'm gonna put more there tomorrow. Yeah, I cleaned it up. Cleaned it up around here and around the windows. Feathered this all in. It still needs to be skimmed. Feathered some down there. You can see where I did some patching. Patching and more patching but I feathered in here where the backsplash was because that looks, needs to, it's probably gonna get tiled, but it needs to look nice. We'll hit all that 24 hours from now once everything dries. I don't do this for a living, can you tell? But I'm learning as I go. I've done this years ago a little bit. I did it enough to know that there's an art to this to really make things look good. tackle an inside corner. Huh, it doesn't fit in here very good. Let's see. No, it's not going to work very well. Uh, take two. shaped scab here because there's a joist that runs right here and then this piece of wood will basically be up kind of like here-ish and I'll be able to screw right in. There we go. I need a shorter Phillips head. Please fit. No, not quite. Maybe, maybe this way. So it's in good enough. Everything's gonna kind of mold and dry on there and keep it together. But uh, this came down a little bit here, but we'll fix that. I think what we'll do is just drill a little bit of the wood so this clamp fits a little better. a little bit to clean up my tools. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, we'll let that dry. Got that filled. Got the tape at the ceiling where it meets the wall. Got that taken care of. 
This one here is going to need some help. Another coat. And uh, yeah, I think we can just kind of leave this. And then I'll uh, skim coat all this that's going to show that's open. And that backsplash, I put a little bit of there today. But yeah, next time I'll really skim it. We'll try to get a real level. Thanks for watching. And we're going to be uploading another kitchen renovation video soon. So be sure to subscribe for more if you haven't yet. And thank you so much for watching.